More than 200 Americans who were on a chartered flight from Wuhan, China to the U.S. are now being asked to stay in base housing for more thorough screening for the coronavirus. They're being housed at the March Air Reserve Base in California, just over an hour southeast of Los Angeles. Health officials say they want to better understand each person's exposure before letting them back out into the general public. Now, although there aren't any cases confirmed in Florida or Georgia, our local hospitals here are preparing just in case. Melanie Lawson reveals how. Hospitals all over the country and here locally are keeping an eye out for this latest coronavirus. The CDC has some recommendations to ensure that patients, visitors, and team members at local hospitals don't get sick. Here is that criteria. So patients in the U.S. who meet it should be evaluated. They're looking for fever and certain symptoms associated with a lower respiratory illness. Also, maybe 14 days before symptoms, they traveled to Wuhan City, China, or had close contact with an infected person. Also, anyone who was a lab-confirmed patient, if they had close contact and are exhibiting those symptoms, that's also a red flag. So patients should be, again, evaluated and discussed with public health departments on a case-by-case -case basis if their clinical presentation or exposure history is unclear. And here is the next step. It is a form that the hospital worker will fill out. It is very extensive. It also requires some testing to wipe out flu in general. So one thing they noted is fever may not be present in some patients, people like the very young, elderly, immunosuppressed, or anyone taking certain fever-lowering medications. Clinical judgment should be used to guide the testing of patients in those situations. Now, local hospitals are distributing this protocol to their team members to make sure they know what to look for. Melanie Lawson, Channel 4, The Local Station.